Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 71 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to straighten your image using Lightroom. Now I know I've done a lot of videos demonstrating how to straighten your image, but I still get tons of emails from folks asking me why they can't get their image straight. It just doesn't look straight to them. Well, the truth of the matter is there's all different ways you could straighten an image using Lightroom. And some of the methods work great on one image, but they'll fail miserably on another image. So in this video, I want to just give you an overview of all of them so you know how to use them, and then you could apply the one that is most effective for your specific image. Now, one thing I got to say off the bat, what's frustrating is some of these tools will not be available in all versions of Lightroom. I'm using the latest version of Lightroom CC, and I might show you a tool here that's not in, let's say, Lightroom 6 or Lightroom 5. So, you know, unfortunately, that's the way Adobe is. So we'll do the best we can with what we have. Now, to straighten an image, typically we go to the crop tool. And there's a number of different ways you could straighten your image in this tool. Now, in my version of Lightroom, it might not be available in your version, I have this auto button. I could simply just click there and hopefully it'll straighten the image to your satisfaction. You could close the tool and you're done. Now, if that didn't work that well, what you could do is you could go to the slider and you could just visually straighten the image. So look at the image and take the slider, click with your left mouse button, and you'll get an overlay of horizontal and vertical lines. And you could try to drag the slider left or right to straighten the image visually best you can. And hopefully you get a nice straight image using that way or that method. Now, Another way you could utilize this slider, and actually the way I prefer to do it, is if you go over the image and then just go outside of the image, you'll see that your cursor turns into this double arrow. With that double arrow visible, click on your left mouse button and hold it in, and you'll see that grid appears. You could then just drag your mouse up or down and straighten the image. And you'll see that slider is moving when I do that. So that's another way to do it. And for some reason, that's just the way I prefer to do it. So you could try that. Now, one thing you might have noticed when I clicked on these mouse buttons, or the left mouse button, whether I was using the slider or I was outside of the image like I am now, sometimes those horizontal and or vertical lines don't really match up to, let's say, the horizon or to a vertical that's in your image that you want straight. So that could be kind of frustrating. So what you could do is you could go up to View, you could go down to Loop Overlay, down to Guides. And when you do that, you'll get these lines, a horizontal and a vertical line. And if you hold the Command key in, if you have a Mac, if you have a PC, you hold the Control key in, you could actually drag these lines around. So here's a nice horizontal line. And I want to put it right on the uh, horizon line right there. And you can see it's crooked. And if I had a nice vertical in the image, I could probably drag this one around to that vertical. And now I could straighten the image. Unfortunately, when you open the crop tool, those lines disappear. But you can visually straighten the image, close the crop tool, and then go back and look at the lines and see if they're you know straight, if they you know in, did in fact straighten your image. And if they did, then good. Then go back up to View, Loop Overlay, click on Guides again, and they go away. So that is a way that hopefully you could better visually straighten your image. Now, another way to do it using the Crop Tool, and the way I used to use, uh, use all the time, but I don't seem to use as much anymore, is this tool right here. Right next to the word Angle, you'll see there's a Level. If you click on that Level tool, your cursor turns into this little level icon. And then what you could do is you could find the horizon in your image and go to the left or right. It doesn't matter where you start. I'm going to start on the left and click with your left mouse button and hold it in and just drag across and draw a line across the horizon. Now, since my image is crooked, my line is going to be crooked. But when I left, let go of the left mouse button, the image should straighten. So that's a nice way to straighten the image. Now, a lot of people don't realize is you don't have to draw a horizontal line. You can draw a vertical line. So if you have an image where your horizon line isn't readily apparent, but you have a nice vertical, like a nice building going up straight up in the air or a 
telephone pole or something like that. You could take this tool, and I don't have a vertical in this image, but let's say this corner of this building. I could go on the edge of this corner here, and I could go vertically and let go. Now, of course, I drew a tiny line. You, if you, you'd hopefully have a nice long vertical that takes up a lot of the image, and you could get a nice straight image, or at least that vertical will be nice and straight when you use this uh, level tool. So keep that in mind. That's a nice way to straighten the image. Now, those are the tools that are available in the crop tool. If you go down here, now I'm using again Lightroom CC, I have a transform tab. If you're using an earlier version of Lightroom, you might, might not have this tab, but most of these controls will be available to you. They'll just be in the lens correction tab. So if you uh, click around some of these sub tabs inside of the lens correction tab, you should find some of the tools that look very similar to this. Now, if you look at it, we have some presets along the top. Right now, we're clicked on off. If I click on auto, you could see it, it not only straightened the image, but in this case, because I took a cityscape, and often when we take images of buildings, because of our lens and our perspective, where we're standing, pointing up at the building or whatever, it looks like the buildings are falling backwards off you know, the earth. And what it did, it not only straightened it, it pulled the buildings forward. You can see how it even pulled the clouds up at the top forward. So it kind of gives a better look, a better view that way when you use that auto. Now, if, if auto didn't work too good, you could try just level, and it will level the image. That's another way to just purely straighten an image. You could try vertical, and it will make all your vertical lines hopefully true vertical. And in doing so, often will straighten the image as it did here. Or you could do full. It will level and vertical. Uh, <laughs> it'll level your image and make your verticals nice and straight also. And that one worked real well. Now there's another uh, preset, I guess I'm going to call them right here, called Guided. Guided is um, kind of tricky to use. And I'm not going to go to, into it in this video. This image isn't a good image to use for the uh, Guided uh, upright tool or guided transform tool but I actually did do a video where I demonstrate the guided transform tool and in the description below this video I'll have a link to that video so if you want to learn how to use the guided transform tool check that video out and that will help you now again not all of these will be available in your version of Lightroom so keep that in mind now if none of these preset buttons work very well you could actually just go to these uh, sliders themselves and you could just slide them around and hopefully straighten your image and or get those buildings so they don't look like they're falling backwards you could see that we're gonna have to constrain the crop by clicking this button right there that constrains crop um, if you want to reset one of these of course you could just double click right on the name and it will reset the slider back to zero so you could try experiment with some of these sliders and see if you could get your image nice and straight and the building's looking proper, uh, you know, just by sliding those around. And when you're happy with it, just close the tab down and you're all set. So those are how you would go about straightening an image in Lightroom, all different ways. And as I mentioned, one of these ways will look great on one image, but it's going to fail miserably on another image. So it's good to be familiar with all of these different tools. And I hope they help you. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really, truly appreciate it. And a special thank you to everyone that supports what I'm doing by buying my Lightroom presets, my Photoshop actions, and making kind donations. I really do appreciate it. It's because of you I'm able to do these free videos. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys soon.